Hey guys, I'm Justin Davis with Drone Camps RC. We're an official DJI dealer in the United States. Today we're going to do a quick video on how to update your firmware on your Phantom. When you first start flying, it's a little bit intimidating to hook everything up and open up the software and start tinkering around with the, the software on the Phantom because you're worried that you're going to mess something up. So I'm here to show you today that it's really easy to do and it just so happens that DJI did release a firmware update today. So perfect timing and we're going to go ahead and show you how to do that now. So let's get started. Before we get started updating the firmware, there's a couple things we want to do. The first thing you want to do is remove the camera holder and the lens cap from the camera. The next thing you're going to do is remove your props. You want to make sure that you always remove your props and set them to the side whenever you're doing any work inside, whether that's working on the Phantom or doing a firmware update. The next thing you're going to do is take your mini USB cable. You're going to open the rubber mount door on the front of the Phantom. Make sure the cable is facing the right direction before you plug it in. Let's gently plug it in and make sure it's firmly seated. The next step is we're going to take our USB cable side and we're going to plug it straight into the laptop. Okay guys, here we are on the laptop. Once you've downloaded the software and properly installed the software, you have your USB cable hooked up to your computer and to the Phantom itself. You want to reach over and turn your transmitter on first. And then you want to push once and hold two seconds. Turn on the Phantom. When we've done that, we'll go ahead and open up the Phantom Assistant software. DJI is going to give you any announcements on the screen. So we can close that. If there is a firmware update, it will show up on this main screen in front of you. Now, if you get somehow get past that and you need to upgrade your firmware, you're going to go over to the upgrade tab right here next to info. So click on the upgrade tab. And on the left, it's going to tell you what part of the Phantom it is, the main controller being the main one we want to update. It's going to tell you your latest firmware up, update or your latest firmware here on your Phantom. And the one over here is going to be the latest update from DJI. So right now we, ha we do have the latest update, but just to show you how this is done, we're going to go ahead and click here. So if we were going to update the firmware, we would just click that. And this next pop-up screen shows us at the top what current version we have and what we're going to upgrade to. So if you're at 3.4 right now, you're going to go up to 3.6. So we'll go ahead and click upgrade. And when we click upgrade, there's going to be a progress bar on the bottom. It's going to load all the way up and the Phantom is going to start beeping as well. So when the Phantom starts beeping, the firmware update is occurring. So we'll click upgrade. It's going to ask you if you really want to do that. You're going to say yes. Now it's going to begin beeping. You'll see the progress bar loading on the bottom here. Once that's done, it's going to ask you to power cycle. Power cycle means to turn everything off and turn it back on. So we had a successful update. We're going to go ahead and shut everything off, turning the Phantom off first. So pushing once and holding two seconds, turn the transmitter off. Now we're going to turn the transmitter back on first. Next we're going to turn on the Phantom. Pushing once, holding two seconds. And again, we see that the firmware has definitely, indeed, it, over, it just did an overwrite from what we showed you. But you'll see that the latest version is here. Once you do that update, you'll be at 3.6. And that's really all you need to know for a firmware update. 
So that's it guys, that's all there is to a firmware update. You've done it yourself, and now you can disconnect your cables, set them to the side. When you go out to do your next flight, make sure that you recalibrate your compass before you fly, just as a general safety precaution. Um, just our opinion on that subject. So uh, that's it, that's all there really is to it. Uh, pretty easy, a lot easier than like going to the dentist or having a tooth pulled for sure. Um, very, very simple. So thanks again for watching. I'm Justin Davis with Drone Camps RC. Please subscribe.